Hello and welcome on using the Quit extension for Stable Diffusion. In this video, I'll be showing you how to seamlessly integrate Stable Diffusion into Krita so you don't have to go to the web UI, copy paste, or save specific images, then go back to Krita, paste the images, etc. Everything will be generated and sent automatically to Krita, so it's a much more streamlined workflow. Let's get started. Firstly, you need to install Stable Diffusion, and I recommend using this easy install method, which is a one-click install process. This process will take around 20 to 30 minutes and will require you around 10 gigs of space on your hard drive. The easy install method is a recommended method at, as it will install all the necessary dependencies. Just go over on this GitHub link, go over to the releases, download this exe file, then run it. Um, everything will be explained in their readme. So make sure to read that as well, then run it and you just have to wait. So after installation, a local URL will be generated. Copy that. It's usually this 127 URL. So copy that and paste it on your browser. This URL is used to access Stable Diffusion Web UI where you can now manage and install extensions. Now download the Krita extension by navigating to the extensions tab in the web UI, clicking on available, clicking this load from and searching for Krita. Once you find that, click on the install button on the right side of the screen. This will start the downloading process of the Krita extension and the progress can be monitored from the command prompt that you have open. This will maybe take around 20 seconds to two minutes. Once the Krita extension is installed, go to the install tab in the web UI and click apply and restart UI to load the extension. This step is important to ensure that the extension is loaded properly and you'll be able to see a new tab for the extension. If you don't see it, try and restart the UI a second time. Now go to the Auto SD tab and just follow the instructions there. So I'll open Krita, go to settings, manage resources, and open the resource folder and look for the Pi Krita folder. Open it, then copy the folder URL. And this URL is used to create a sim link between the Krita extension and Stable Diffusion. Now open a command prompt by typing command prompt on the window search, right click it and run as admin. You should be able to see system32 over here. Now on the web UI, copy this first line, then paste it into the command prompt. Press enter, copy the second line, paste, then press enter. To make sure you've done it properly, try repeating this step. And if it shows up as cannot create file when that file already exists, you've done it properly. Now, you need to go to the web UI user.bat file located in the Stable Diffusion installation folder. This is the file that runs when you open Stable Diffusion. And we need to edit it in a way that it allows to communicate with our extension. Once you find it, right click it and select edit. This will open the file in a text editor where you can edit the command line arg. In the command line args, add dash dash API after any other flags that may already exist. This may be empty, this may not be empty, depends on your installation, but you'll just need to add it at the very end on the command line args line. Save the changes to this file, then close and reopen Stable Diffusion to ensure the API flag is active. This will usually change the local URL to be shown to a different URL. Um, if you still want to use the web UI alongside Krita, you can just use the 127 URL again since you can't open this URL in the browser. Now, make sure you close Krita first, open Krita, then go to settings, then open the dockers for the extension. These dockers will provide access to the Stable Diffusion tools within Krita. If you want to see everything that it has to offer, then make sure you open these dockers that I have listed here. After that, you should be able to use Stable Diffusion tools all within Krita, such as image to image, text to image, etc. My favorite way to use this extension is executing image to image by creating a selection using the rectangular selection tool, adding a feather by going to select feather selection, put around maybe 20 pixels to ensure that your image to image will blend well to the existing image and avoid harsh seams. If you select a smaller region, it will create more details in that region. I'll go much more in depth about this over on this video, so make sure you check that out. And if you've made it this far, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye bye.